handkerchief, so I was in need of a beer. And uh, being a gardener, this beer is so apt. It's fun, totally brewed. And I'm going to talk directly to totally brewed. Thank you this year for your social media interaction. It's something I'm going to be bringing up um, with every single brewery that I review their beer. Uh, for those that actually do uh, interact and that, it's, it's well, you know, there is a reciprocation in, in the world of beer reviews. And, uh, you know, I, I will point out those who, you know, who actually do interact with beer reviewers. So, thank you. Um, this is free rain. And it's, uh, yeah, we need some chuffing rain. Ah, I'm sick to death and no rain. It's nice to have the sun, mind you. Don't get me wrong. But we need some rain. Yeah, overnight, 10 till 4. It's not, not a biggie. It's a double dry up pale at 5.6%. Oh, sounds so nice. Brewed with Eldorado, Sabro, and Cryo Mosaic. And it says here, it totally brewed. We like to pack our beers with flavour. Yeah. Our fearless approach to brewing is we are not afraid to look past traditional brewing techniques and have fun with gutsy flavour combinations. This beer is totally brewed. I absolutely agree. Never want to do it anybody else's way. Why suffer? Why do things what everybody else wants you to do? No. Because however do you, how do you modernise something without challenging the, the aforementioned what 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 the supposedly is the criteria as a gardener i've always changed and done it my way and uh, the funny thing is people look at it and think oh that's a strange way of doing it we'll talk about raking leaves and they'll talk and they'll say and I, I was the first one in Nottingham to use a blower, back, a backpack blower. And it's like, oh no, raking leaves is the best way. And, I, and all of a sudden, I've done about 30 times the amount of area that they've raked. They're knackered for raking. And I'm just chilling, you know. Anyway, Neon wrapped a glass because my glass got de demolished. So I need to go out and buy a new glass at some stage. Um, Lovely, vibrant orange balls really showing up in this beautiful sunshine, which is absolutely blinding me. Just had to endure. What is it with people going at 30 on a six day? Eh? If you don't want to drive on the road, get off the bloody road. But anyway, here we go. It's looking great. Do apologise. I'm supposed to be more. I'm supposed to be more. Uh, trying to be more professional in my beer reviews. Don't think it's ever going to happen. Certainly a bit of coconut. Certainly tropical. Oh, beautiful. I'm salivating. How bad is that? <laughs> yeah. I was going to have a bit earlier. Because, but, uh, yeah, couldn't. Oh, hoppy. Flavorful. Yeah, the coconuts are there as well. Lots of tropical flavours going on. But oh my gosh, that's that's it in the old raggy spot. Oh, and as a gardener, like I say, free rain. So yeah, totally brewed. For those who don't know, also own a tap room called Totally Tapped. I have an admiration for that tap room. And the former manager, you know, I really got on well with her. She was lovely. Um, and, uh, you know, I've, I've met some of the people from Totally Brewed. Um, Mr. Totally Brewed himself. And uh, Tom, the salesman. So, yeah, uh, lovely people. Yeah. And like I said, um, I am pointing out those breweries that actually interact with, certainly with me at least, and and just thanking them and, uh, not to show the other breweries up well it may do but uh, but it's certainly as my way of thanking you know um reciprocation is my new thing um and uh yeah it'll happen more and more so it's looking good 
It's smelling good. It's damn well tasting good. I love the range of beers that these um, this this company does. Um, they flit from stout. They do all sorts of beers. And it's not just big, ma mega imperial stats. But I do wish to do some more, to be fair. But that's just me. And I know they've got some barrel aged stuff coming up. And I'm definitely getting a uh, bottle or can, whatever it is of that, of each of those barrels. Uh, hopefully they won't sell out before I get them. It's usually the case. Uh, all of a sudden, the MOT comes up and I'm, I, I've, I'm, I'm stuffed. And uh, that, that's the story of my life these days. And obviously, of the cost of living, this, this winter is going to be very tough for people of, of the world, of Britain at least, and possibly the world. And, and, and only rubbed in your face by the fact that the, that the gas companies and the oil companies are making mega profits. And I do mean mega profits. And then the, the government, oh, we can't, we can't take any money off them because they'll pull their money out of Britain. Oh, right. So the money, that the, what they're earning, is that not a thing? Don't get me started. I feel that I need to do another uh, a, 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 a Raggy's Live and, and put the world to rights. But this is a beer review, so we'll keep the uh, keep the swearing down to, to nil as best as I can. And uh, oh, cracking day today. I've not stopped working since 20 past six this morning. It's now seven o'clock. Um, 25 minute journey home. So. 12 hour shift, full on, and uh, good day's graft, and I'm 51 as well, you know, yeah, I don't look it, yeah, yeah. and, oh, and uh, yeah, yours, <laughs> yeah, the air needs cutting, that's for sure, if I was using just for men like some of my mate, old mates, I, I, I'd look about 40. Ever the one to come out of a comment, but that's me. And uh, yeah, Ooh. so really enjoying this. Don't really need to say anything else about it. Proper decent beer from Totally Brewed. And again, you know, I've never had a bad beer from them. Um, obviously, not every style is your style of beer. And that is something you must either challenge yourself to drink a different style and, you know, just get used to different styles a bit. I've been on that same course myself. Two years ago, um, I'd never done these farmhouse wine barrel aged sour things. And then I got two on the row on, the, on live beer reviews and it's like, oh. And they will not my cup of tea. These days, I could probably drink them and, and enjoy them. So, you know, expand. For those watching beer reviews, you know, expand your drinking. Don't just stick to best bitters or pale ales or that. You know, try something different. It's all about this. What beer reviews is about for me. It's looking to see what comes out. And, you know, um, the good thing about breweries like totally brewed and you know certainly a lot of local breweries is that they're flicking from one style to another quite regularly and it's good it's good for your taste buds it's good to try new stuff and then obviously if they brew their normal stuff quite regular and um, every what every every brewery has a core range um i actually drink the these fellas core range at beeston so there's a pub in beeston called the star inn and every time I go down, I have Stargazer, yeah, and of course it's cheap, but there you go, you know. But it's cask, it's, it's tasting damn fine, and, uh, you know, they've obviously got a love for Beeston because it totally taps in Beeston, so I get the vibe they live in Beeston, but uh, that's up to them. Um, but in any case, rattling too long again, and the wife wants me to put ink in the punch, yeah, no rest, is there? So, lovely, we'll call it an orangey looking pour. And certainly coconut is quite prevalent on the nose from the Sabro. It's 
Oh. Actually, really, that's really enjoyable. And after a long, long day. But enjoyable, enjoyable day. Yeah, I gave a bit out today. Gave a bit of the old raggy um, humour. I was thinking of the word then without trying to swear. But uh, yeah, I gave some of the raggy humour out today. And you see, <laughs> I've got a sense of humour. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you know. And uh, sometimes it's nice to actually give it out because yeah, it puts people in their place, shall we say. <laughs> But in any case, um, in other words, in essence, I'm an absolute beast of a piss taker. But there you go. Didn't mean to swear. Well, actually, piss isn't swear because we all do it. You know, we be a wee wee taker. But anyway, out of five for me, a good 4.5. Absolute crack of a beer. One of their three new beers bought recently out recently you can get this in the token you can also get this locally uh, in the east Midlands also from adventure beer uh in totally brewed i presume there's going to be a mixed pack you can get i've not been on the totally brewed website for a bit to be honest uh, life's just so busy you know um crazy busy crazy 12 and a half hour shifts jesus but you do what you do so in the pennies, don't you? Yeah, but we all, eh? Cracking beer. Check this brewery out. Cheers, all.